and they go through the one of the other things we wanted to point out is just a couple different types of motherboards that we do have. We've talked about the AT, the XTs, the 286s, 386s. Um, I just thought it would be interesting. This board is the original IBM PC motherboard. Uh, in looks, it hasn't changed a whole lot. We still have the memory, we still have our ROM chips, our CPU chip. We have a couple dip switches here to set uh, different configurations for the board. Some of the things that are real evident real quick is one thing, we have five I.O. slots instead of the eight that we're accustomed to seeing now. We also, in the newer boards, where this one has the five ROM chips across here, the new boards only use two. But other than that, it's pretty well the same thing. Uh, oh, one of the other things, I'll turn the board this way some, and that we have a cassette port and the uh, keyboard port. And of course, the cassette has long been gone, and we no longer even uh, consider that. So in the original one, though, they gave you the option because a lot of people did not have the floppy disk then, so they used a cassette to store data and to uh, bring it back into the system. I wanted to show this one now. This board is the way we should have the boards at all times, actually. They should either be in the system or in a protective uh, carrying such as this, and, and even in a box on top of this. But this is a static uh, bag. It helps to dissipate the static so that we won't uh, mess up our RAM to ROM chips. Now this is the standard AT board that we would use. Notice that here again, quite similar to the last board we looked at, but this time we have eight slots. Up in the corner here, we only have one port for the keyboard. We no longer have the cassette port. Uh, we have the two ROM chips. We have our CPU chip here. Our coprocessor would go next to it. So other than that, it's, it's still quite similar to the original PC board. Uh, when they upgraded to the 286, they, they pretty well kept this style, uh, except using the 286 boards. Now just for a change, I'm going to throw in one more board, and this was just... This one is quite different. Now this is the Apple IIc motherboard. This one has everything built onto it. Uh, power supply would sit in this area. These are the memory chips, this direction, CPU chip. Uh, well, the CPU chip would be plugged into here. We have on the back end of this, we have several I.O. ports because on the Apple IIc we, we have no I.O. slots. Everything is built in, everything is controlled through the motherboard. So this board uh, has everything built on and, and you would get it the way you see here. I'm going to drag all these back out one more time just a quick and I'm going to kind of stack them together see if we can get a little a bit of idea. Anyway, so that's, that's our three really unique motherboards at this time. And again, we'll go into more and more detail as we go through this.